Hey everyone, look who's here again. Uh, can't get rid of <laughs> Kyle this summer. Um, well, it's not summer anymore, it's fall, but here he is again. He keeps showing up at my house. So. Yeah, it keeps happening. I keep hitting up Rob. I'm like, I gotta come fossil hunt, man. <laughs> I've been up in Michigan a whole lot visiting my mother. She's been sick with cancer for the last six months. So if uh, there's any prayers in you, we appreciate that a whole lot. For my mom, her name is Denise. Um, and she's battling that right now, so I'm up here all the time kind of supporting her and helping her helping her make sure things go good. Yeah, so pause the video, say a prayer, and then come back to the video and see us find some fossils. Yeah, good idea. <laughs> I appreciate it, y'all. So we just entered the quarry. This is an old quarry. I think it closed in, I think it's 1958. One of the last things they did here was they built part of the... Uh, the caissons for the Mackinac Bridge, they assembled them here uh, because it's a deep water port and then shipped them up to Mackinac. And I also read that some of the limestone from here was used in the bridge. So the attraction here are all the fossils. And here's some hexagon area, otherwise known as Petoskey stone. It doesn't look quite like it does when it's tumbled around the beach for ages. A little fresher here. Not good for lapidary purposes in my experience. I have not had very much success tumbling this stuff or polishing it in any way. This stuff flaking off here. Okay, this is something I didn't expect to find, but uh, Kyle just picked up a pudding stone here in the middle of the quarry. <laughs> so uh, that's not from down deep, that's from the surface. Well, there's another, uh, it's, it's not a pudding stone, but another glacial kind of rock. I guess there are a few mixed in here. There's one right there. <laughs> All funny. right, but nice job finding a pudding yeah, stone pudding here. Stone. <laughs> that's funny, of all places. Now you probably know I'm not much of a fossil expert, but I do like looking at them. There's just a bunch of different corals and things in here. Look at that. See that shape there? There's something. Another branching coral. Another one here. Pretty much fossils everywhere in this place. It's really cool how that just slid right off of there. Exposing more Corals, huge coral heads. Look at it, all the way over there. I'm always amazed that anything can grow in this rock, but these little scrubby cedars they don't look healthy, but they're surviving. And then I was just walking along here. It's uh, late September. And I don't know what these little flowers are, but they're kind of pretty. And they're just growing all over this little top part of the quarry here. There's the very top. So if you know what those things are, let me know. We're at the back wall of the quarry right now, and I just noticed there's some hexagon area, or Petoskey stone, right there. I recognize the side view. So you can't see the little hexagons in the top because the top's embedded in the rock still, but pretty sure that's what that is. How you doing the cold northern climate, Feels Florida good. boy? <laughs> <laughs> Florida is hot right now. I mean, when I left to come up here, it was probably the hottest it's been all year, at least the most humid. So this to me is nice. And didn't you say it was windy down there? It was not windy. 
Not yet. No, now. Now it's windy. That yeah. was a hurricane. <laughs> so I'm avoiding going back down until after this hurricane is over because I don't want to deal with that. <laughs> You're a smart man. Yeah. Wait, how do you say that? Hexagoneria. So apparently <laughs> this is to be said with an Italian accent. I think that's what that was. Just grab this guy off the ground. At first I thought that, that round part of it, I thought it was a gastropod, but it's, it's just a coral, another kind of coral. Kind of funky looking. Look at all the stuff going on in there. Picture all that just falling down onto the sea floor like 360 million years ago. At that time, this area was south of the equator, so it was warm also. Not cold like today. I think it's uh, it was in the mid 40s when we got here. It's supposed to get up to like low 50s. Yeah, you know, the spruce trees don't grow very big here. <laughs> A little bit stunted. But actually, I was going to show you this nice hexagon area. Tosky stone. Kyle just showed me this weird thing. And some little tiny crystals inside there. A little leftover from the mining. It's pretty heavy. Some sort of a hook it looks like. It's a cool looking coral. You really see the branching structure of it there. Big one here. So I'm standing in front of one of the taller parts of the quarry wall and I put Kyle over there for scale so you can kind of see. And it continues along behind these trees here. So we're heading down that way. We're going to go check out the sinkholes and then come back to the quarry. Hopefully it'll be warmer then because it's kind of chilly right now. Look at all the stuff going on in this wall really see the layers and then uh, there's a bigger fossil stuck in there. A lot of little stuff, just hard to see from the side view here. We've been kind of keeping our eye open for brachiopods and haven't found any until I just saw one and at the same time Kyle said, oh there's some over here too. So uh, here, oh, there's one that's loose. You can see them here and there throughout the rock. See if there's any loose ones down here. Here's a piece. Here's one. It's the big horn coral right here seen bigger ones in here. There's there's some that are close to a foot long probably. But that's the first big one I've seen. It's gonna bring my drone today. I did bring it but it's in the Jeep because it's really windy. It seems like every time I come here it's windy and I can't get drone shots. Someday it'll happen. We're working our way back to the sinkholes and we're up this, uh, the back side of the quarry here is a little more gentle slope. And I think we're going to be here for a while because Kyle's finding all these brachiopods and just loves them. <laughs> so I just found, well, I had these two in my hand. Uh, two little guys there. And then I just found this one, which is a little bigger. Nice one. You know why I love the brachiopods so much? 
Why is that, Kyle? My story <laughs> is uh, when I was so I was born in Michigan. I don't know if a lot of y'all knew that, but I was born here. And when I was little, I would come to places similar to this and find the brachiopods. I would even find them like in the driveway, just in fill dirt at my place. And uh, so it's just very nostalgic for me to find these fossils. It reminds me of my childhood. So that's part of why I like them so much. I found them in my driveway as a kid too. <laughs> yeah, see, that's awesome. <laughs> it's a Michigan thing, I guess. It's interesting how in different places of the core you see different kinds of rocks. So something that I haven't seen yet today is a crinoid stem. But there's one right there. Kyle found one earlier. And I found them in other parts of the, the quarry, but first one for today for me. This stuff's all loose here, which is nice. So much of the stuff in Rockport is it's attached to the rock. I mean, you'd have to have a hammer and chisel them out, and I just don't do that that much. But here, in this particular spot, they're a little more loose. Look at that. Look at the little fine details in that. Little tiny specks there. Yeah, I said we were going to go to the sinkholes a while ago. Why is it that we're like an hour later finally heading to the sinkholes? Well, I found a, the mother load of brachiopods and I couldn't leave. <laughs> That's okay. We're here for Kyle. <laughs> So we were on the power line for a while, and then you take this little trail off that goes through the woods, and this will take you right to some of the sinkholes, but I also know there's some sinkholes right back there. So what I do is I pull out my phone, and you can see the sinkholes clearly on the phone, and you just uh, you just get to the spot where it looks like they are, and you head through the woods, and you can go from one to the other that way. So we're heading back there now. Check out this rock. It's all... Uh, cracked from water getting in the cracks and freezing in the winter, but I love that with the moss on it. Alright, after a short little walk through the woods, we've come to our first sinkhole. These things never video very well because they're all, they're full of trees. These are not new sinkholes. So it just drops way off. This is one of the smaller ones. I don't know if I've ever seen this one. reminded me of Florida, Rob. Sinkholes. Very common in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, let's not slip and fall into the sinkhole. <laughs> Look at that. Well, that has a little bit of weed action going on down there. I don't know if that's algae or like... Uh, they call it duckweed in Florida. Yeah, I was going to say duckweed or algae, one or the other. That is a long way down. That's beautiful. This is a small one. That's cool though. We're navigating on the phone. Get the Here's another one that's even bigger. Oh my god. Yeah, that's a lot bigger. Oh, it's so hard to see how far that is. That is so far down there. I can see the water. That is a massive sinkhole. The other one doesn't look so big anymore, does it? The other one doesn't look so big anymore. <laughs> Rob was like, just wait until you see that other one. <laughs> So we're walking around this sinkhole and I just thought I'd show you how much glacial rock there is. Besides all the rock in the quarry, you know, underground, there's this glacial rock everywhere here. All through the woods. And a lot of downed birch trees. There are, I think, a dozen sinkholes here. We just climbed down into the Biggest diameter one, at least. I don't know if it's the deepest one we've seen. I think the second one was deeper, don't you? I think so. But uh, a lot of them have water in the bottom like this. Maybe all of them, I'm not sure. Uh, I think all of them that I've been down in have water in the bottom. So if you want to see the treacherous climb down that <laughs> hill, Kyle got it all on video, so you can see me sliding and tripping. And yeah, I got one-handed down this, this hill. <laughs> I didn't actually fall, but it probably wasn't real graceful in spots. <laughs> We're just working our way from one sinkhole to the next through the woods here. I notice the maples are just starting to change colors. Mostly everything is still green though. So 
So what do you think of the sinkholes, Kyle? This is awesome. It's absolutely beautiful in here. So this one you don't have to climb down very much of a hill at all to get to it. It's like we just walked down that little thing right there. Not much at all. Not bad. But I imagine it's very deep there. I don't know how deep this one is. Crazy to see sinkholes like this in Michigan. Well, we've got them here. Like, you're used to it in Florida a lot, and I never thought about it in Michigan until I started coming here more often, you know? It's so cool. I love moss on rocks. Even though you can't see the rock as well that way, I just think they're beautiful. A lot of mossy rocks here, so I'm happy. We just got back from the sinkholes and we're on the opposite end of the quarry now, because that's where the sinkholes are. We're looking for more fossils like that big Petoskey stone. It's a smaller one. Look at this. I think that's the base of a horn coral. Oh, nice. Check that one out. Wow, that would have been a huge one. Some hexagonaria. I don't know what that, that looks like iron in there. I'm not yeah. sure what that is. If it's just iron or something else. Some sort of iron. I always thought pyrite or something, but we don't know. There's hexagonaria or Petoskey stone just all over the place. There's a couple that were sitting up on that rock. That's all Petoskey. Eh, that's not a very good one, but there was a piece there. There's a piece right there. Well, that's some right there. It's just all over the place. There's one. So when I polished this stuff in the past, I brought a couple pieces home, and as soon as you grind through the 3D pattern, it usually just ends up being a gray rock. So it's really cool as a fossil. Uh, not so cool if you're making a pendant or something. There's a little lighter color piece. Just everywhere. I've told you that this stuff doesn't polish well, but I was tempted to take that one home. I think I'm going to leave it here because there's actually holes. Looks like there's voids in behind it, but you can actually see kind of white lines in between the cells there that look promising. I think I'm going to resist that urge and leave it here though. Just flip this one over. I recognize it from the back. That's the bottom of the Petoskey looks like, but I like how it's kind of a double. That's securely attached there. Well, here we are about in the middle of the quarry. If you look on Google Maps, you'll see that there's this ditch that splits the quarry in half. I'm not sure what the purpose was, but here it is. So we're going around the end of it there. I have made a gruesome discovery. Something died here. Here's his jaw. Oh, we've got both <laughs> parts. What do you think it is? Coyote? It's a uh, chupacabra. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my name is Jerry the Chupacabra. I'm gonna find some fossils. <laughs> so, what, what do you think it is? Uh, this is a uh... fox. No, it's a raccoon. Ca raccoon? Yep. You see a raccoon? I was way off with coyote. I guess a coyote would be quite a bit bigger. Yeah, it'd be bigger. Yep, this is a raccoon. Hey. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> yep, classic raccoon. Okay, I figured you'd know. Kind of cool. It is kind of cool. Check out this big stromatoporoid. You see the big circular shapes in there? That's awesome. Kyle dragged me back to the spot of the brachiopods because he likes them. But I just found, whoops, I must have dropped some. I had a few more, but a bunch of little crinoid stems right in this area all of a sudden. Here's a little coral head. Another different kind of coral. But I've been finding little crinoids. Of course, now I won't see any now that I turn the camera on, probably, but we'll see what it can do. 
Here's a little one right there. It's part of a brachiopod, which is why we're here. Here's another little crinoid disc. So those discs are all stacked up to make the stem. Here you can see one there, one there. It's another little brachiopod, I guess. There's a really worn crinoid stem. All kinds of little stuff in here. A whole bunch of crinoids right there. Still picking stuff up on this hillside on the back side of the quarry. And here's the kind of stuff I'm finding. Some little corals. I don't know what that, I, I can't point because my hands are full, but that second one to the left kind of pointy thing, I don't know what that is. Some brachiopods in there. So we're heading out of the quarry now, and I just noticed this. You see how there's like fine gravel between rocks? Maybe you can see it better this way. So it's, uh, no, it's really clearly filled in with gravel here. I would think like railroad. I know they, they, there's some railroad ties in places and spikes here and there. Uh, they use like a smaller size railroad car, but this doesn't look like that to me. So if you know what that is, let me know. I've been to the sinkholes, been to the quarry. Seem wrong not to go on the beach before we leave. It's a big freighter out there. Just like the other spots around here, there's fossils everywhere down here too. See if we can get you a picture of a few. All kinds of stuff there. Big stuff. There's the Tosky stone. Hey, if you want to see more of Kyle's videos, I'll have one here. So what are they going to see? So I was, um, <laughs> it's going to be somewhere up here. <laughs> um, up here in Michigan, though, I did some bottle hunting and I found a, a really cool, unique bottle from the 1880s. Um, and I'm very excited about that. So that video is going to be linked on the screen. And I will link a Petoskey Stone polishing video. So if you want to see good Petoskey Stones all polished up, check that out.